Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute to this weighty matter that has been brought to the floor of this house by Honda Bobaya. Honda Speaker, I want to say that it is a, is a sorry state, Honda Speaker, to see people dying and to see not just people dying, Honda Speaker, but hundreds of people dying out of starvation, Honda Speaker. I want to thank the Honda member for having taken the bold step, Honda Speaker, to even speak about it, Honda Speaker. This particular matter is not only traumatizing, but it is also exposing us as a country, Honorable Speaker. I want to pass my sincere condolences to the people who uh, lost their loved ones, though others have not been identified, Honorable Speaker. But I want to say, Honorable Speaker, this is a wake-up call also to our community, to the leadership that you have had, Honorable Speaker, most members pointing fingers. Honorable Speaker, the welfare and, uh, of the people of this country is dependent on every leader. And leadership, Honorable Speaker, is not bestowed on people, on certain people, uh, only one the speaker. Leadership, one the speaker, and security, as they say, starts with you at home. And I want to say, one the speaker, that this is a responsibility right from the people who live in that village, right from the administration in that village, and the political leadership, one the speaker. And everyone should be uh, held responsible for the same one the speaker. One the speaker, in the wake of this matter, one the speaker, I have been able to, uh, I have drawn my attention, or it has drawn my attention to specific issues, Honorable Speaker. The issue number one, Honorable Speaker, that we must talk about and that we must address, Honorable Speaker, is the issue of regulation uh, of this particular entity, Honorable Speaker. Regulation of the churches, Honorable Speaker, has evolved over time. Previously, Honorable Speaker, when I was a young child, and when I read in history, Honorable Speaker, the churches used to have a well-structured uh, body that used to regulate the number of churches and the type of churches that we have in this country, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I have read and I have grown in a time where the church had a, a, a clear stand, where the church had a clear structure of its leadership and its uh, regulation, Honorable Speaker. As you speak, Honorable Speaker, nowadays you can wake up, you can buy a few uh, iron sheets, Honorable Speaker, and you can be able to go and direct a structure and be able to wear a suit and a tie. And I'm honorable, honorable Speaker, I'm sorry, but most of the people who actually run these churches are men, Honorable Speaker. So someone shows up in a very nice suit and a tie with an iron sheet, uh, a few iron sheets, Honorable Speaker, and is able to set up something that they call a church, Honorable Speaker. This particular structure, Honorable Speaker, are not, yes, of oh, course, Honorable Speaker, uh, we, uh, these particular structures, Honorable Speaker, they give, they give them different names and weird names, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, I think we failed when we actually re re delegated the duty of regular, uh, regulating uh, these churches, Honorable Speaker, to societies where you tell someone for you to be recognized as a church, you can just go to um, uh, social services, you get yourself registered, and you're recognized in this country, Honorable Speaker, as a church. Honorable Speaker, I think we need to have stringent measures to ensure that we have better uh, uh, better avenues, Honorable Speaker, for not only regulating them, but also checking them, Honorable Speaker. Because, Honorable Speaker, as we speak today, if I am on the wrong, Honorable Speaker, the people of Nandi, if they feel like they do not want to have me as a representative in this house again, they have a right to be able, uh, that is guided, guided by the Constitution, to be able to write and say that they are not uh, they are not happy about my representation and they would, uh, they would like me to go out, Honorable Speaker. The same way when someone commits an offense, Honorable Speaker, you know that you report them to the courts of this country. But Honorable Speaker, as it looks, Honorable Speaker, we don't know whom to report these rogue pastors or churches, Honorable Speaker, that are doing funny things. Honorable Speaker, it is a wake-up call to us that we should be able to come up with regulations that are regulating this particular uh, enterprise, Honorable Speaker, that, that keep cropping every other time. Others, Honorable Speaker, want to say that um, uh, to the... Uh, to the people of Kilifi, to the leadership of Kilifi, uh, headed uh, by Honda Bobaya, we want to pass our sincere condolences and we want to say that we are going to, we are in this together, we'll ensure that this does not happen again in the future because